Well, even though I was completely exhausted, went and uh, to bed. Got to bed about 7:45, 8 a.m. <laughs> you guys have ever done this before? Woke up like noon, freaking out. I thought it was because I have to work third shift at the end of the night, which starts at 11 p.m. I thought it was like midnight and I was late for work. I freaked out, didn't know where I was. Woke up, I'm looking around and looking at my phone and I'm like, oh, 12 p.m. Oh, okay. Like I was out. Took my allergy meds this morning. Jeez. But uh, then ended up, you know, trying to fall back asleep because I only got a few hours of sleep. Got up at 1.30. I try to push a lot of people to do the reason you mess up with your schedule so much and you hate Monday mornings is you jack your schedule up like if when you first wake up I got your body telling you get up like we're good we got enough sleep so I know how much it sucks and how much you can just close your eyes and fall back asleep for another you know two three hours don't because you wake up and you throw yourself off and you feel bad for the next two three days you got to play catch up so I hope you take this message I hope you guys try it when your body first wakes you up, get up. It's the best you're ever going to feel throughout the whole day. Okay, a little update. The mower just, I got it running. Uh, it was always running, but then it was backfiring and popping and everything else. And then just out of nowhere, it just started idling smooth and going good. So I wonder if there was something in the carb that just got uh, loose. So that was good. But then having issues with, I think, both my key switch and my uh, starter solenoid, even though I just got a brand new starter solenoid, it's acting like it's bad again, even though testing it out. So talk to them. We're going to go test it down there, and hopefully they'll give me a new one. And Get this going because I gotta go tomorrow. Grass is getting tall. But perfect timing, 245. So hopefully the mower's good. Just get my new replacement part. Head to the gym by 3 o'clock just like I need to and smooth sailing. It's fixed. All done, all back together. It fixed, it runs. And it was just raining outside, so hopefully it dries up by tomorrow because I need to mow pretty bad. Well, I guess that's the one good thing about knowing how to fix stuff. It saves money. But it's now almost time to head to work. One thing I want to point out and one thing I want to get across to people is yes, I'm tired. Yes, I did not want to come out here and mess with this, but I know I have a very, very, very busy day tomorrow. So now I can just hop on my mower and go mow and do what I need to do. Instead of, you know, coming home because I didn't leave the office till nine and just chilling or taking a nap for an hour. I mean, really, what am I going to really get out of an hour nap compared to coming in here, working on the mower, getting it all back together and ready to mow tomorrow is gonna save me a lot more than an hour, especially in a day that is very busy and I won't be able to, you know, spare extra time. So I could probably get everything accomplished tomorrow and maybe relax tomorrow night. Do what needs to be done that moment. Stop putting stuff off. You need to literally just switch your brain off and just do what needs to be done. Don't think about it, just do it. It needs to be done, do it, get it done, nothing else. It's that simple. I did not exactly want to come do this, but I needed to do it. So now it's done. Now there's a sense of accomplishment. Go to work tonight, and that's going to make my tomorrow easier. Don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. That's why I preach it. Now I feel a lot better. Now it's a weight off my shoulders. I can go to work, and I don't have to think about this and figure out what's wrong with it. Because now it's done. Problem solved. Tomorrow. 
we can get after it. Gotta work, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. You guys have a good night.